Hello, Mayor Rosalind Bliss here, uh, giving an update on this beautiful fall month of November. A uh, few things happening here at City Hall. Last week, uh, the City Commission had a very busy commission day. A couple of things important on our agenda that we reviewed and talked about. Um, one, we move forward with an RFP, so that's a request for proposals for a solar array on our Butterworth landfill. This has been uh, a topic of conversation and a project that we've looked at for about a decade now. Uh, so we have a request for proposals out there. Hopefully we'll get a number of good proposals back and we'll be able to move forward on utilizing uh, a site that has hundreds of acres that is ripe for uh, solar panels, in my opinion. Would be a great way to help us move a little bit forward in our move to getting closer to that 100% renewable energy goal. Uh, we also approved uh, doing a pilot where we're going to be leasing some electric vehicles. Again, identifying ways that we can move forward with our sustainability goals. We'll measure the impact of that for about five years and then decide if that's the best path forward. We also had a number of community meetings last week as we continue to work on updating our master plan. Uh, hopefully those uh, meetings were very informative and helpful and they're going to help us continue to really hone in on what we want in that master plan. We're hoping early next year to have a draft come before the Planning Commission and City Commission before it is finally approved. So if you're involved in that work, thank you. If you're not, please get engaged. It's a really important process. Uh, it'll set the stage as our blueprint for land use for the next 10 to 20 years. Um, so I encourage you to get involved in that work. Um, a couple other things uh, as we move into the holiday season. Uh, last weekend, we were so happy to have the Sansa Parade uh, right here downtown. So many people came out to make that a success. We were a little worried that it wasn't going to happen, uh, but community volunteers and sponsors came up, uh, came re really came together to make it a reality. So thanks to Gentex, all the sponsors, everyone who came out, tens of thousands of people were here downtown Grand Rapids, and it was a lot of fun as we kicked off the holiday season. Uh, we also saw the opening last week of the Christmas Market. This is a brand new holiday gathering and event at the downtown market. If you haven't been over there, I encourage you to do so. A lot of great vendors and uh, sheds and just a really fun experience as we go into the holidays. A couple other big things holiday related. Uh, our ice skating at Rose Park Circle kicks off this Friday, uh, November 24th. So we hope to see you there. Uh, and then the following day is a Small Business Saturday. So as we go into the holiday season, I'm going to ask you to join me to support some of our amazing small businesses locally owned businesses. It's a way to not only support our friends and neighbors, but really to keep our local economy strong and keep those dollars circulating right here in our own economy, um, which is really important. And then there's lots of wonderful neighborhoods outside of downtown uh, that have holiday shopping and a place where you can go to connect and find some great gifts. One of my favorites is Uptown Holiday Shop Hop that's happening on December 7th. It's always fun. They have free trolley rides all throughout the neighborhood that night. Uh, carolers, it's just really festive and fun. Uh, and then last, as I close, uh, going into Thanksgiving, I just want to wish you a very happy Thanksgiving. I hope you find time to pause, relax, uh, and really think about all that there is to be grateful for. We'll be kicking off uh, Thanksgiving morning right here downtown uh, with the Turkey Trot. This is an annual event put on by Grand Rapids Public Schools Foundation to raise money to help our public schools. So if you go to that, uh, have fun running, burning off some calories before the big feast. Uh, and if you don't, I hope you just have a really wonderful holiday. With that, I'll see you next month.